Hey, this is Craig Hansen. Welcome to Cadence Antique Emporium, where we're having the fifth auction here uh, to kind of liquidate a large portion of the inventory as we get ready to move to a new store. This auction is a special auction. It is all tools, antique tools, woodworking tools, framing tools, molding, rehab. We're gonna do a quick walkthrough here so that you can see that uh, what we actually have for sale. Uh, and then we're gonna tell you how to get a hold of it. So first of all, we'll come over here and you get an idea of the type of tools that we have. We have lots of box lots of tools, old antique uh, tools, horse hangs, horse pullers, uh, boxes and boxes of really nice tools, right? Like this is an old antique, um, an old antique uh, belt driven uh, table saw for small things. That's just part of the box lot that's going out. So a really nice lot. We got auto parts, lights, uh, old, uh, uh, light uh, covers, light housing covers, windows, and then all these tools that you see right here are just a little bit of the box lots that we have for sale uh, uh, in this actual auction. We also have nice usable tools. This is a deep depth uh, uh, bandsaw right there. Uh, hasn't been used too terribly much. Great, uh, nice modern tool for your use. Hammers, sickles, car parts, uh, all of that's in here. So this is a whole bunch of box lots that's going to be available for you. And then let's walk through the rest of the store so that you can see what else we're selling. So we've got carts like this. This is a nice industrial cart. We've used it in the store for uh, uh, for many years. Uh, very useful. We've got an entire, basically almost brand new Mark V uh, Shopsmith and all of the attachments to it. We've got belt sanders, we've got edgers, we've got scroll saws, uh, we've got uh, uh, everything, lays, everything that needs to go with that, along with all of the parts and bits that go with that particular uh, shopsmith. We also got another shopsmith downstairs that I'll show you here in just a bit. As you can see, we have a lot of stuff that we're going to move over to the new store. And of course, we're going to be buying new inventory. So keep watching here uh, so that you can see when we open up the new store. Our new store will have records, comic books, videos, plus all of the collectibles that you have uh, seen here at our store before. Again, we have more tool lots down here. A lot of box lots um, uh, that we have here old planes nice wooden boxes that they're in that's one lot right there we have bolts we have an old uh, uh, racing car tire trimmer right here this came out of an estate in Harriman this piece is a very very nice piece it's all it's still ready to go and moving working uh, it's a really really nice piece we're gonna go upstairs oh well before we do let's walk over here got uh, shelves that are for sale. This one here is a, uh, uh, it's got a countertop on it. It's got pegboard sides. Great for your shop. We've got another work table here. Very, very solid work table. And on top of that, as part of that, we got another pegboard stand. Uh, so that, and we have lots of stuff like that that you can take a look at as we go through. We'll go upstairs first. You can see all of the boxes that we're getting ready to pack up to move to the next door. Now up here, we've got a lot of framing stuff. Uh, really nice equipment. Uh, we've got fans, we've got uh, circular frame cutters. Uh, or oval frame cutters. This is nice new equipment. It's in great shape. We've got a Fletcher here, a beautiful Fletcher frame cutter. Very large, can cut the largest uh, frames on it, the largest mat cutters on it. And then over here, we've got a whole bunch of other tools uh, that we're going ahead and, and putting on the market. This is stuff that would typically go in a frame shop. We have drills, we have extension cords, we have attachments that go into that frame shop, and then we have a beautiful Italian-made uh, uh, international from Italian a corner cutter for frames, beautiful condition, 
this cuts perfect. Uh, you won't want to put your fingers in there. Perfect corners every single time. And uh, uh, with that lever in there, you can cut frames that are probably up to two inches thick. So we got rollers, and then we got staplers right here. This is a, a pneumatic stapler that goes right in here uh, for stapling frames together. All of these are really nice pieces. Uh, are hard to find in today's market, especially at auction. So feel free to take a look at a look at those and go to JD's auction if you want to bid. This will be part of all of our last auction that we got here. That's not this auction, but the next auction. We've got a tremendous amount of electronics that will be uh, auctioning off all estate finds from clearing out huge estates. And then we've got an entire radio business that I picked up um, several years ago, and uh, we will be auctioning off all of those things. Not in this auction, but in the next auction. Let's run downstairs, and we'll take a look at the other tools. craftsmen out there, or the woodworkers, we have a whole bunch of uh, framed windows, including a very large 20 pane frame window right here, that will all be going up in this auction right now, that auction will close on Saturday at 2. So what we'll do here is go through the basement, we got a lot of shelving units that are up for sale. Plus, we have a tremendous number of additional box lots here. Before we get to the box lots, we're talking additional framing stuff, beautiful framework here. Uh, literally, probably thousands of feet, uh, a thousand feet or so of framework. It's nice inlay uh, pieces. This is true inlay framework, but you hear we're selling it by the shelf right now. Uh, you can see some nice larger pieces there. Uh, and this is mostly all European molding uh, made in Italy. Okay. Then here, this whole counter, this whole counter, from that end to this end, is lined up with tools, with parts, with rehab parts. We've got nails. We've got uh, uh, we've got bins of tools. We've got saw horses. We've got ladders. Uh, we've got uh, electronic components, we've got uh, a plumbing components, uh, we've got wire here, tons of uh, a wire, a copper wire uh, ready for use, uh, and uh, we've got, in addition to that, just a, a ton of stuff that's all available that'll all be up to this. Some really nice tools here, we've got bits, these are Freud bits for woodworking, this is a professional bit set. Uh, and this is part of a really big lot. So we, not only do you have the Freud, you have all of those other bits in there that are used with routers. Okay? So, uh, some really nice lots there. And now we get to the exciting stuff. We've got a nice Craftsman tool cabinet uh, uh, here. Uh, we've got um, uh, additional frame cutters. We've got uh, aluminum racks. And then we'll go back here to the big tools because there's a lot of nice big tools that we'll be letting go uh, right now. We've got a lot of pallets if, uh, if you're interested in pallets. We've got the Jet 1020 Plus uh, sander, that's lot 1953. These actually, they don't actually make this particular one anymore. It hasn't been used that much, but boy, when I did use it, it is extraordinarily useful. Uh, we've got a Delta DC 380 planer with an extendable bed. We've got a mortising, this is an industrial two axis uh, um, a bed, a mortising a drill, that's for deal, uh, drilling morts, uh, mortises, uh, and we've got a whole bunch of these bits that go with it. These bits are hard to find, they're very expensive, so that mortising drill is coming with about, as you can see, uh, about 10 to 15 bits. We've got a, a Sears a Craftsman lathe uh, here. We've got another Delta a table saw right over here. 
This is an industrial uh, unisaw. It's got an extended bed. It's got all of the jigs that go with it. It's in good working order. We've got a scat blast right here. Uh, very useful if you're cleaning up uh, uh, old iron or metal parts. Uh, adds a lot of value when you're going off and uh, selling those parts uh, in your antique store. So we've got that. We've got a Delta radial arm saw for cutting large boards. We've got more scroll saws and then we've got a whole bunch of other small tools. This is a really cool piece right here. This is an older shop smith. It's been converted into a rolling sanding station. So you've got three independent motors here. You've got two belt sanders. You've got a drum sander right here. This is part of an old shop, shop smith. And if you come over and look at it from this side, you can just rotate that shop smith down and it turns into a lathe. Uh, or any of the other shopsmith tools that you have. So a lot of cool tools, and this isn't all of them uh, that uh, we have coming up for auction. We've got uh, a nice old industrial air fan. This is belt driven. Uh, it still works. It's still, uh, we've got an edger behind that. It's a six inch edger. And then we've got tons of wood. Like this here is probably 250 to 300 square feet of what I call a shortcut <coughs> oak. It's white oak or red oak. Uh, it was cut in the 1930s. It's really nice hard stuff. We've got some pieces that have been glued up for a project that was never completed. So I'll go in there. That whole stack is oak. It's a beautiful and that will be going up for auction. Furniture makers, woodworkers, it's a great lot to have. <coughs> These are all big lots. This is just barn fine, rusty stuff, a lot of cool stuff in there. And if you like to search through rusty stuff and, uh, and, and do stuff with it, it's all right there. So you can begin to see the types of lots that we have to have put together for this next auction. Uh, we hope that you'll join us. We're making a lot of progress in, in uh, cleaning everything out. Uh, it's been nice talking to you. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.